everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. It's a fresh start throughout the league here in week one as these two teams have high hopes for the season ahead. It's the Colts going up against the Broncos. The opening kick of the new season is straight ahead as we turn it over to our broadcast duo of Brandon Guy and Charles Davis. Larry, we are at the foot of the Rockies as EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the picturesque city of Denver, Colorado. Tonight, we wrap a busy first week of the season with a second of two on a Monday night between the Indianapolis Colts and the Denver Broncos. And hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at this Bronco team at early season tilt. And when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet. And both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. Meanwhile, for the visiting Colts, and I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up and ready to play. Here's Cairo Santos now, ready to get this one started. And off we go to wrap up the week on a Monday night. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. And a glance here at the vet. He's got a lot of years under his belt in the National Football League. Shift together here from the D-line. Now a handoff here to his running back. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And a lot of the weight of this offense falls on the shoulders of the running back. That's because the offense knows if they give him any openings, any opportunities, he can turn it into a big play at any time. This may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. And that linebacker group today could be very key. As we were preparing for this game, you pointed out to me as we were watching film that the linebackers look like an elite unit. I agree with you totally. They move around, fly to the football, and take it away from offenses. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. Now they'll throw here out of the gun, surveying the field. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Partner, how many times have you heard it? Pressure creates diamonds, right? <laughs> but it also bursts pipes. And on that one, that's what they got. They got after him, and he was fortunate just to get rid of it. Yeah, he just had to chuck it away. He'll send this away into the Rocky Mountain night, and it's a good one. This is taken at about the 14. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by their quarterback, the Stanford man. It's Andrew Luck. I love everything about Andrew Luck's game, but I also love his worldliness. Some of his formative years were spent growing up outside of the United States. I think that that's helped him when he came back because now he's seen the world. I think that helped him mature a little bit as well. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he's not going anywhere to start the night. They stop him at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. They'll give it to him right up the gut. One yard, the official pickup there, so it's going to set up third and nine. 
And the linebacking core could certainly be crucial today. They do everything really, really well. Fly to the football, defend the pass, you name it, they do it, as well as set the defensive front. Still nine yards to go on third down. Now it's Luck off the bootleg. And he's got his man on the comebacker. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Love the call by the offensive coordinator, recognizing the situation very well, calling for the play-action pass and completing it. Now a play fake here on first down. Deep drop. He's got the hook up here on the comebacker, complete. Give him 16 on the pickup, and it'll give the Colts a first down. A lot of time in the pocket there, and the quarterback able to find an open throwing lane, and he delivered. What a terrific job by the guys up front, able to tamp down the pass rush that they've been getting all day. And he will find his man on the outside. It'll go as a gain of 12, and that'll be good for an Indianapolis first. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there, and how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? They go play action here on first down, and that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. And he has reached the summit. Move over Peyton Manning. There's a new record holder at the top, partner. And situation upcoming second quarter third down and this defense just trying to force the field goal attempt luck looks to throw on third and one he's got time in the pocket and no escaping this time as he'll go down they got it. In the situation, ball in the red zone. It's second down, and the defense needing to step up. Let's go! Green 39! Green 39! They'll run it now out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there, and now it's third down and inches. Well, let's give plenty of credit to the defense there. They stuffed them on second and short. But if you're the offense, why would you change what you're doing? You've got a whole nother down to pick it up, and maybe even a fourth if you so choose. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. A great play there. Already his. looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. And the Broncos go to a nickel set on third down. Yeah, they've got an extra DB out there. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is caught inside the five. 
Touchdown, Indianapolis. Their dangerous wide receiver, 39 yards. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches? And this defense backed up now as they're looking at a first and goal. Just inside the 10. Back to throw again. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. jump back in opening drive third quarter and this offense has it in the red zone first and ten from the red zone now lock oh it's incomplete that would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on instead it's second down a missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive they had a chance there to finish things off didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys did not play offense. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. They'll lose a yard and it brings up third. And that's why you see so many teams play a 3-4 defense because that set gives you a lot of flexibility about where to bring pressure from and it's hard for an offense to pick it up. Left side, right side, up the middle, especially with some really flexible linebackers. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position and they want to get... They're going to go. It's locked. And he's got his man on the out route. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Back now at the home of the champs here in Denver. This offense, they've got a really nice drive going. And now it's first and goal. Can they finish it off and punch it in the end zone? yards to go for the offense first and he takes it in for a colt score a great effort there a five-yard touchdown run Alright, it's 
time for this big O line and the playmakers to take control of this game as we get down toward the end. After the interception, it's Luck. And he will find his man on the outside. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> and what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed is that's going to move the chains. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. They've got it first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. The defense won that play so fast that I think if the running back even had time to notice if anyone was there, it was just a blink of an eye, and there was a loss on the play. He'll find his man on the comeback route, complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And when an offense is doing a nice job selling the play-action pass, a lot of responsibility shifts to the linebackers. They're the ones that have to determine run or pass and get to the proper places on the field. And able to put. Now the Broncos are going to take a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. And now the Broncos will burn another timeout here. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. They'll give it to him right up the gut. No gain on the play there. Second down. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Now it's locked. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. for the offense. This is play number 11 here on this drive. So here we go now. An extra defensive back in there on third and ten. Here's Locke finding time. This will be caught at the two. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Their big tight end with time running out. And the Colts have broken our tie as they take the lead.
Did you see them hold up four fingers to the start of the fourth quarter? They, they were ready. They were definitely ready. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth. So the picture becoming pretty clear here. The defense just looking for a stop because a touchdown check, check, and they would trail check, on the scoreboard. They're hoping to preserve this slim one score lead. throw finding a safety valve here that's complete they'll give him eight on the play and it'll be second down and now here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball it's just their first they've got two more to use here in the final stages back to throw now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. They'll look to throw. All kinds of time. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. You had the fly over the big American flag out there before the game, all the hoopla, just having football back, so special. It is an opening day, opening game. There's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo. But the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while. Opening game here, an entire season. We get into the playoffs, to the Super Bowl. I was really excited. I could barely sleep last night. I can't imagine being a player. So for the Colts, it'll be a happy trip home as they start the season with a road victory here on a Monday night. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the San Diego Chargers. Meanwhile, for the Broncos, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Jaguars in Jacksonville. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaud. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.